Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on violin plot, another very widely used and popular plot in Seaborn Library. Uh, why violin plot is very popular? The reason is it gives you the distribution of the data and also a box plot inside it. So it's a lot of information. And also Seaborn Library allows you to include a lot more information in this in one plot. So we will see how we can do that. Let's start by importing. Oh, no. Import Seaborn as SNS. Import mat.lib.pi.splt. Okay, and we are going to use the Penguins dataset today. And Penguins dataset is another dataset that you can simply load from the Seaborn library. Okay, SNS dot load dataset penguins. And this is the penguin dataset. We have species, species of the penguins, then island, bill length, bill depth, finger flipper length, and body mass, and sex. Okay. Now we will start with the most basic burden plot. SNS dot violin plot. Okay, data is pen. We have this pen data set where we saved this penguins data set. Yes, X direction. I'm going to put this thing. Okay, so this is what it is. You can see the distribution of the data is pretty skewed. And we have this uh, box dot inside. This small white dot is the median of the data. This is first quartile. This is third quartile, minimum, maximum. Right. Let's start with a different one. Let's put it in the y direction. Here is in the y direction. And what I will do in x direction, I will include another categorical variable. We have three species, island and sex or gender. I'm going to use island. X, island. So look, here it is. So we have three different bargain plots for the penguins of three different islands. Okay, the volumes of the penguins. Now, I'm going to uh, change the figure size. Yes, when it's a little bit bigger, it shows clearly. So it's nicer, right? So look at this one. This one is almost normal, right? A little bit skewed. And in Bisco, we have bigger range. Okay. Here, I'm going to include one more variable. Okay. Like I'm going to use a hue parameter. hue, sex, or gender. You can see we have the body mass of the penguins of different islands and we have for different gender as well. So lots of information in one plot. We can improve or we can change this uh, plot a little bit. Look, here this side and this side, we have the same distribution, right? This side and this side, we have the same distribution. Instead, we can put male one side and female another side instead of having two different plots for male and female. So you can do it including the simple split two. Okay, so you can see that we have male this side and female this side. Only one downside is you can see here we have different box plots for male and female, so you can see the difference of median. Right, differences of median and quartiles and differences in range of data, but in this case, you have only one box plot inside that shows the median, uh, then quartiles and other information, everything for overall population, not difference, not different for male and female. But you actually can change a little bit that part by using an inner 
Look, in it we have box plot by default, right? So instead we can have it core item. So in that case, it doesn't give you the box plot anymore. It gives you the dotted line that shows uh, uh, first quarter Q1, third quarter Q3, and we have this middle uh, median. Okay, and we have for both male and female separately. All right. And this inner, instead of quarter, you can also use stick if you want. When you use stick, we have all these sticks that shows the individual data points. Okay, we have individual data points, uh, but you don't get this, this information here, but it's your choice what you like. Okay, and you can see in all our plots, we have the same order, Torgerson, Bisco, and Grimm. What if you want to change the order? Okay, you can simply add this new parameter called order and you give the order you want so here i want grim then torgerson and then bisco okay so we have grim torgerson and bisco we changed the order the way we want it or i want it you can do it what you want okay the next just imagine that we have three different kinds of uh three different island okay now see we want to do a, some kinds of special um, research on green and bisco islands penguins okay and in this case we want to really segregate them uh, with different colors i want to really visualize them differently how we can do it first i make a new column called special okay then uh, this is the island so island that is in so grim and bisco these two i want to create a special because we are doing a different uh, work on them we want to do some kind of special research on them so here we created a special uh, column here that gives you the boolean value where Torgerson calls false that means it's not special and Bisco and Grimm is going to uh, be true that means they are special okay if that is then you all, all you can do here okay let's forget about inner and order because I already used them do you know the point Let's even don't use them. Okay, just a few parameter. I will use special. And look, here we got the special false. Torgerson is not special, and these two are special. They are represented. Uh, they are represented in different colors. All right, and now. Another very important feature I want to show you that is SNS.cat plot. Using this cat plot, you can access to the facet grid options of the Seaboard library. And let's just bring all of them. Actually, let's bring from another one. Maybe this one. Split true. But I want all of them here. Okay. So I want data x direction and y direction data then hue sex split true i want all of them and also now i have to put kind violin you have to specify the kind because cat plot can take other kinds of plots as well so this one i want to make violin plots and column so why we need facet grid that is in column i want to use the species okay i want different plots for different species and look i got it i have different plots for different species uh, only problem is uh, it's a little not so clear i will make it a little um, i'll change the shape height 5 and aspect 
0 0.7. If I put that, okay, it's a little bigger. Or if I put 0 0.6, okay. And you can put the one you like. I feel like it's pretty clear. Okay, so we have different species. So species Adley, you can find species Adley in Torgerson, and Bisco and Dream in all of them. And you can see we have uh, male and female different distributions and this box plot here. If you want it, you could use the inner parameter here as quartile if that's what you wanted. So we have on the quartiles here, quartiles, median, everything here for male and female population separately. So if you can see the species chimp strap, you can find only in Dream Island. The other two islands do not have these species. And here, this Gantu species we have only in Bisco, Torgerson, and Dream Island do not have this Gantu species penguins. Okay, so isn't that a lot of information in one plot? All right. And that's all I wanted to share on Violin Plus today. I hope it is very useful and you will be able to use in your own work, in your own projects. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this um, video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check the description box below where I put my, the, my blog address, blog website address, where you can check out my blog where I share lots of data science concepts with lots of quotes. Okay, thanks for watching.